Napoleon, Julius Caesar, Christopher Columbus. I'm sure you've heard about them many times because they all had great influence on their own nations, even continents. But little has been heard about other men who, though for different reasons, were as important as them. I mean about those men who dedicated their whole lives to science and therefore contributed to the progress and well-being of humankind. Nowadays, you can do things such as switching the light on with the push of a button or what you're doing right at this moment, watching the TV. Thanks to a long list of men throughout history, we have discovered such important things as the wheel, the telephone, paper, printing, the pen, the calculator, or the car, for example. Water, water's components. One of those men is called Henry Cavendish, and he is very important to all of us. You! He's trying to find out the formula for water. He wants to make water? Now I understand the explosions. Really? And what's the relation? It's easy. Water is a combination of oxygen and hydrogen. Oxygen and hydrogen are two types of gases. By joining two gases, you get water? As if by magic? I guess you could say that. Get oxygen, get hydrogen, light up a match, and ba-boom! Water appears. That is, me! Or you appear on Mars, because hydrogen is like a bomb. <gasps> Look! The H for hydrogen. And the O for oxygen. But Cavendish already knows that water is created when joining them together. H2O? Yes! Now that makes sense. H2O! 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 has vanished. The water is crystal clear. It's odorless, tasteless, it's pure water.